And we are back. Let's go ahead and beat up whoever's in here. Welcome, young Shepherd. It has been some time, Shepherd Wardell. Indeed it has, Lila. Is this Seraph a Shepherd? I was several hundred years ago. So just like Exio, huh? Enough chit chat. This isn't what we're here for. I assumed as much. Young Seraph of Wind. Dezel. Dezel, this tower in and of itself constitutes the trial. In other words, once you reach its top, you have cleared it. The rest depends on how I feel about you then. Sounds like there's a catch. I bet it has something to do with the sacrifices and the Hellion we met at the entrance. Hmm. A sharp observation indeed. Now then, head on up to the platform at the top. There shall I see your metal for myself, O oh young Shepherd and his friends. I'm really glad that wasn't actually the boss fight, because if it was, I would have been pretty sad because I forgot to actually use my, uh, I forgot to use a, uh, <laughs> um, an ice pop to get 8% uh, attack. And here's Norman. I get it, dude. His name is Legless. And that's funny. That's actually really funny. Actually, give me a second to just equi uh, adjust equipment. I guess we'll swap that out. I guess we'll swap that out later. Okay. Now that I got everyone, uh, everyone up to speed, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and put some equipment on. As always, we're gonna just add it to Saray. Saray is my main character, after all. We're gonna want to get we're gonna want to get everything on him. All right. So let's make sure that we actually use uh, use what we want to use in terms of the food items before we uh, before we actually get into the boss battle. Should be coming up here quite soon. Actually, you know what? I'll eat right now. Actually, just just in case. I'm always gonna want to have regular attack. Just because regular attack seems to be the way to go. Also, I guess I'll just eat the black stuff so I can... Oh, no. If my current effect is going to be deleted, there's no way in hell I'm going to actually eat anything else. Wow, this is a large tower, dude. At least this is way better than... I'd rather have this... I would rather have had this the entire way than had the mess of floors we had on the way up here. But this should constitute the end, shouldn't it? I wonder what's over here. If over there is the boss fight, what is over here? I guess this is where people just threw themselves off. Part of me was hoping that was a that was a uh, point of interest, or Sawyer would be like, "Wow, people really toss people toss themselves off from here," and they'd be everyone else would be like, "Well, probably sounds about right." Uh, let's go ahead and fight the fight the du Duhalan. Someone's there. Where's that headless hellion? Hang on! Get away from me! Why are you looking to make a sacrifice of yourself? I have to die. There's no other way. I killed someone. The man who was exploiting my family. For that reason, people who didn't even know us would curse at our family, throw rocks at us. I only did what I did to preserve my family's happiness. But it's brought nothing but more pain. The legends say that if I throw myself from here as a sacrifice to the gods, then I might have a chance of absolving myself and of restoring my honor. It is my only hope for salvation. If the prospect of life promises nothing but suffering, then better I die. Enough. Let her go, Saray. What? She regrets dirtying her hands for the sake of her family. Seeking restoration of her honor. All she wants is someone's approval. She doesn't even think that she's to blame. What's gotten into you, Dezel? Nothing. A Hellion's domain. Yeah. <laughs> 
Damn. Dazzle. Rose, Miklio, stop that headless bastard. Okay, got it. So no need for me this time? Let's leave it to them, Edna. Dessel? You want to die? Then why are you hanging on so tight? There are plenty of times when I've wondered if I truly did the right thing. We all have. That feeling of loneliness, it can drive you crazy. But the idea that sacrificing yourself will erase your sins, it's a fallacy. Killing yourself means nothing to the Seraphim. But I... You worked so hard to protect your family. Do you want to leave them all alone? For the sake of a sacrifice that has no meaning at all? I don't... I don't want to die! Keep struggling. That's the fate of all with blood on their hands. I know I sound pretentious, but my friends tell me I need to stop trying to bear everything by myself, too. We all need our families. If you work together, I'm sure you'll find some way out. I'll try. <laughs> but your trial is not over. That's right. We still gotta stop him. Can be honest, thought that cutscene was gonna go about go go a little bit longer. <laughs> The Dulahan, reach the physical attacks. We're gonna go ahead and switch out um, Mikleo for Lila and then try to do as many Mystic Arcs as possible. Let's do this. I was hoping I could actually get the get the combo off right there. Looks like I was looks like I am not lucky enough to be able to do that. Well, 1.64 is almost as good as 1.75, and he's actually almost out of health. That's not bad actually. I'm actually gonna get out of that form. I didn't think he would kill uh, what's it what's her face in such a such a quick amount of time. Also didn't think he would smack me super hard, but it doesn't really matter as long as uh, as long as we can kill him. This is actually really good. Battle went by really quickly and a lot better than I thought it would. Achievement unlock making the grade. No idea what that's for. We did get KO'd one time and lost 55 grade for it, but everything else went pretty solid. Edla, Edna, Edla, Edna learned a new art as well. Let's go ahead and see about getting myself some mystic art for the wind element. So this is what became of all those sacrifices. A warped idol, born of a warped religion. You're gonna be all right. Can you stand up? Um, 
Are you the... the shepherd? I'm called Sere. Then are the gods... I mean... Are the Seraphim with you? Yes. A wind seraph accompanying me named Dezel is the one that saved your life. Hey, keep me out of this. Oh, thank you so much, Seraph Dezel. Really, truly, thank you. Thank you. I... I promise that I will live bravely from now on. I'll look in my soul and find a way to believe in myself. <laughs> Aw, he's embarrassed. We still have a bit more business here. Think you can get back down by yourself? Yes, I'll be fine. I'll have someone from the Frontier Patrol take me back to town. Yeah, good idea. Somehow it all worked out. Can we talk about how we're gonna stop everyone else from coming up here and just throwing themselves off? Whatever, let's go ahead and get our get our uh, wind mystic art. Dude, I was scared. Oh my god, dude, he prepared an elixir. That's amazing. Alright, but uh, I thought Dezel was gonna die there. I thought he was gonna throw him, I thought he was gonna like grab her by the hand and then do that thing they do in movies where they use all their strength to throw the person up over the ledge and then they fall themselves. Oh, dude, I was so scared for a second there. You have shown me not only your strength, but your spirit and bonds as well. You are more than qualified to receive the spiritual power of wind. You speak of spirit? Bonds? <laughs> Surely you have noticed, Dezel. That which is attached to your being at this very moment. It is not something that you should deny. You felt the voices of your companions and acted of your own will without any need for words. Are we done with this yet? Get it over with. Do you have something against developing true friendships? Why? There's something very important that I have to do. You should have picked up on that by now. And it is with true friendship that many obstacles may be surmounted. That you have reached this shrine, overcome the trial, and now stand here at this very altar serves as testament of that fact. <sighs> now then, let us offer a prayer. To the young wind seraph, and also to the young shepherd. What awaits you on the path ahead, none can say. Heartbreak, redemption, endless possibilities. Never lose the guiding light that will lead you safely to the end of your journey. Yes. Light, huh? So then, Shepherd Soray, may the light shine always on your journey. Thank you, Wardell. How you feeling? Okay? Yeah. Hmm? I just wanted to thank you. Huh? Dazzle, you mustn't push yourself too hard. <sighs> hey, at least you got to do something out there. There's no need to stay here. Let's go. <sighs> Are you all right? The power isn't affecting you, is it? I'm fine, but thanks for worrying about me. We've obtained all four spiritual powers. Think we're ready for Heldolf? Well... No way to tell until we try, right? Yeah, but first, we gotta track him down. How? He hasn't exactly been mailing us postcards. We know where he was. Why not start there? The battlefield. Works for me. Dude, I'm so mad. Achievement unlocked, trials overcome. That made me so mad. Just hearing her go, at least you got to do something, gives me flashbacks of when Carol, after the Gattuso boss fight, was like, that was easy. Despite the fact that he didn't participate in the battle at all. In that fight, Edna did participate. Dude, I'm still mad about Carol. I'm still to this day mad about Carol going, that, that, wasn't, that wasn't hard at all, even though he was he literally was not in my party. I used, what's it, what's it called, Rita... 
Estelle, Yuri, and Repeat. Carol's not in the party, and he just wants to take credit for the entire thing, dude. Sounds like a very Carol thing to do. Also, part of me was like, am I just going to have to walk down this entire tower? And the other part of me is like, absolutely not. You do not have to do that. You do not do that. You just look at the area, think about the things that go bump in the ruins, and then teleport out of here. We found quite a few discovery points. Exploring ruins is all well and good, but you have to be careful when getting sidetracked like that. Really? If you don't look properly at where you're going, you might turn the corner and bump into someone. That's when you gotta use that fancy footwork of yours. Take a quick back step. Actually, Rose, it would be most appropriate to sidestep in that situation. Yeah, yeah. And then, if you could coordinate it with other battle actions, then you could easily increase the stun rate. That'd be a pretty sad scenario for whoever you bump into. I'm sure they just try to give me a lesson right there. Went over my head, not because I wasn't paying attention, but because whenever I sidestep or go around an enemy to hit them from the back, it doesn't make a stun last longer, as not as far as I've known. Now let's go ahead and head over <laughs> Batty G. So if I did this, exclamation point Carol, dude, I, I'm still mad. I'm going to be honest, I'm just, I'm so mad about that. I'm so mad. Carol, like, taking taking credit for things that he didn't do. What a guy. What a guy. But now we can set another boon. Healing air. Your recovery will be boosted by 20% when you eat snacks? That sounds absolutely useless. Never mind. The clip is right there for you? Dude, I know the clip's right there. Doesn't mean I'm going to use it. Anyways, you've overcome the fire, earth, wind shrines that were all, I guess, in this general area. And the water sh Oh, actually, these are all dungeons. Okay. Next, I guess we will head over to... They want me to head to the battlefield. The battlefield being... Where, where is it? Uh, I mean, I could guess I, I can walk from... I can walk to there from... Lastenbell? Or Maryland? In Maryland, actually, if you take a left, it's right there. Maybe. I'm actually not certain. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go to Gadadin. You know why we're going to go to Gadadin? Because I actually want to go fight a couple of uh, a couple of monsters that might give me the that might give me anomalous orbs. Well, will give me anomalous orbs. The chief's answer. We restored the village's blessing, but Slenge is dying. It's got to be due to the toxins produced from processing the vermilion ore. Most likely. And he must have known that from the start. He probably wanted this kind of punishment. Because he committed a crime, huh? If that's all true, then there's no need for the scattered bones to get involved. This must be the answer he arrived at. It may sound harsh, but there isn't anything more we can do about this situation. Still, it gets me royally ticked off at the church. And what seraph would tolerate their worship? If that Malfour guy came up with all this, I gotta hand it to him. Pretty good for someone who acts like a quirky bit part in a play. But he wasn't emitting any malevolence at all. What sort of person is he exactly? It's got me wondering too. I think I'll have the scattered bones look into him. All right, now that we're done with that, I guess I'll go ahead and get some salad. Eh. We'll go ahead and get some tomato lamb, tomato lamb, Malfoy, I knew it. Yeah, dude, this is definitely Malfoy. Hey, Dezel, there's something I wanted to ask you about. My eyes, huh? I wasn't trying to hide it from you or anything. Was it this arch enemy of yours that did this? Yeah, she's the reason I lost my sight. And so that's why you're after revenge. It's just like I told you. I'm out for vengeance against the one who killed my friend and crushed the Windriders. So it's not about you? I'm actually grateful for this wound of mine. My ability to read the wind has only grown stronger since then. I can sense a larger range of presence than you all can. Most likely, it produces the same effect as the Oath. In other words, I don't need your sympathy or concern. Just use me as you will. Like that one time with Fortin. But in exchange, you'll use us as you will. Is that right? Pretty sure I told you that right from the start. Yeah, you're right. 
That's sad, dude. Super sad, actually. <laughs> also, I realize now I probably shouldn't have teleported here. Well, actually, it's not a bad thing that I teleported here, just because uh, I could use some food in my stomach so that I could do things a little bit, uh, a little bit better in terms of, uh, what do you call it? In terms of when I get into battles, I'll actually heal inside them rather than wait for anything else to happen. Where I'm heading to is right down there to fight whatever anomalous monster was there. I went to type it and this came up. What? A caution sign? I don't get it. What are, what are you typing in there? What are you doing? Being, being weird in my chat? Being a weirdo in my dude, in my dog. That's my dog, dude. I can't wait to pet her. One of the one of these days, dude, one of the days in this week, I will pet her. But also, first we're just gonna go ahead and fight that uh, scorpion up there. Hopefully, he will not annihilate me. Oh my God, they are chasing me to the ends of the earth. No, we are okay, 100% alright. Alright, how much you want to bet I can beat this? I want to bet zero dollars and zero cents. But before I do that, I probably should save, shouldn't I? Yeah, I think I'll save, especially because uh, they're uh, they're chasing me real good. I'm getting chased real good in this area. I'm gonna save. I don't want to. I don't want to end up in the situation where I uh, where I don't. Uh, Mind if I kill them all? What's it called? I don't want to end up in that same situation where I have to redo the boss fight I just did in the wind shrine. Dude, try hard. Good use of emotes. Proud of you. Proud of you. Also, I definitely want to switch him out for her. Actually, maybe I should. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll keep him on. I'll keep him on board. All right, let's do this. Give it your the million peed weak to wind, resistant to everything else. Great. So let's go ahead and switch out. Mm, Edna. That is a mutant. Million called million feet. Even calling it a centipede would be a bit much. Yeah, a million is way too much. More than two legs is too much. That's just your bias. Are million feet like rich centipedes? I don't even. <laughs> Are million feet just really rich centipedes? Oh my god. Lila got annihilated. Dude, I'm a negative peed? Yeah, you're right. Let's do it. Dude, I love how Rose just got an absolutely annihilated. That's pretty. That's pretty fun. Very enjoyable game when that happens. Millionaire. Oh my God, that's what that's what he did last time that killed me. Is that what millionaires do? Do they just jump on jump in the air and then just dive bomb you and annihilate you? There's a certain beauty in winning this way. Jeez, dude, what a what a world. Let's go ahead and adjust some skill, uh, some uh, not equipment, but some titles. Considering I, uh, I'd rather have people constantly focusing on new stuff all the time, if at all possible. All right, there we go. All right. Oh my God, this was at one HP. But he'll heal during battle, so that's okay. All right, next place on the on the agenda would be the dungeon. Where is it? Not Boar's Ruins, not Lamert Cave. I'm looking for the one in this area. Yurder, is that the one? 
It must be Yurda, right? It's either Cambria Caverns or Yurda. I'm guessing it's Cambria Caverns near Subterranean Lake. Here we go. To fight the Medusa in the area. I think it was a Medusa. It might have been. Alright, let's go ahead and just save real quick. Should be here. But yeah, there she is. Hello! Oh, it's just a nine-headed serpent. It's not a it's not anything in particular. It's a nine-headed serpent. This'll be tough. So it has nine heads? Where? Take a gander at the bottom. Ew! Its legs are like snakes! Maybe that was a mistake. Let's let's uh let's go ahead and uh Yeah, let's try that again. Second time's the charm, right? Like this part of the game came so long ago. And from what I've seen, we should be able to we should be able to beat them uh, in the time that we actually uh, come across them. Like this. Yeah, I have no idea what, what mystical you're talking about, but th this is Flame Birch. And she's almost dead already. She's beckoning. What is she beckoning? As long as my other two characters actually like attack decently within like a decent time frame uh, in accordance to my time my attacks i should be fine like right there they're they're not attacking like like in in in, in tandem with me and there they started attacking in tandem with me this should be easy purification complete yeah see that was that was extremely easy like no one even died Look at how easy that was. It's just, it's just, it, honestly, a lot of these fights, if I, if I learned, it's just, it's just, it requires luck. A lot of these, a lot of these more difficult fights requires luck. Not to get hit with the wrong, not to get hit with the wrong arts from the enemy, and also your own teammates actually doing things correctly. But that's it, we're, we're done. We're done now. Let's go ahead and, uh, there's one other place I, I want to travel to. Not that. I freed hunting grounds. That's exactly where I want to go to. Here we go. There's this one last, uh, one last enemy. Oh, oh my God! This place is covered in. This place is covered in malevolence. That's not good, dude. That's really not good. The enemies here are actually way more powerful than they were before. The front should defend and attack when it can. Its arts are powerful as well. I might actually die here. Look how much da damage I'm not doing to these guys. Wow, dude. I have no idea why there's malevolence in this area, but I'm guessing this is the area I might have to come to. This should be easy. When it's only one enemy, it's, it's super easy to beat them. So long as my teammates actually do something. It's not often you see a seraph using a staff like a clown. Alright, let's go ahead and set health maintenance on her. Some of us are low on health. This is the one I want to fight. This this is the Arachne that I want to fight. For that, I need to make sure that we're good on health. So I'll eat a mango sorbet. I need to fight at least two more enemies in order. To oh my god, there he is. Dude, he's right there. Is that him? Who is that? I'm gonna save. I have no idea who that is, but he looks super scary. Let's go find out who he is. Do you think he knows who he is? 
Nope, doesn't absolutely know anything about it. Okay, so I'm guessing that these guys... This guy was in every single area of the game where there was malevolence that I couldn't do anything with. Dude, look, look at him. Look at that thing. Look how powerful it looks. I shall Dude, this is the this is the final this is the Lord of Calamity. Dude, I found him. Why is he 3000 down on health? Um. If there was any question, there's absolutely no way I can beat the Lord of Calamity right now. He's level 78. I am level 30 something. You disappoint me, Shepard. What did you expect? I, I don't know. I didn't really expect anything. I'm gonna be honest with you. I just kind of was like, ooh, Lord of Calamity, and I decided to fight him. I didn't really expect to win, I just like, kind of wanted to see what it would be like, and the answer to that question is, death. It is death. We're still gonna fight the Arachne, by the way. Absolutely, 100% gonna fight the Arachne. Dude, I love how Serae's just dancing. Look at him. You think she's gonna have spider webs and little spiders? Uh, she might have spider webs and little spiders. We'll find out in a second. After I save again, now that we have everything we we need to fight Arachne. Alright, let's go fight Arachne. You think fire will burn her? I hope so. Well now. Lord of fire! Burn! It's a mutant Hellion type of spider. Well, it sure looks the part. It has a very cunning personality, and as for its characteristics, this is no time for battle. Let's go. Ooh, that's bad. Ooh, that's very bad. Oh my god, dude. Alright, use a, use a, what's it called on this? This is the one. This is the one I'll do it. Why did my combo not work there? That's not what I wanted to do, dude. That's so that's so incredibly AIDS. That's so just awful, dude. I'm so mad about that. I wanted to use my Mystic Guard, but for some reason it wasn't going off, and I have no idea why. Incredible knife handling. Do you have anything? I'm not hiding anything, I swear. I did it and no one got KO'd. That's actually awesome. Alright, that's another anomalous orb in the bag.
Everyone's HP slightly increased, right? I, I actually don't know how these things work. Artificial Blessing Orb that induces a curious metamorphosis when held by Hellions. Boosts everyone's max HP. I don't know how those things work. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. But I did it. I managed to beat Arachne. And we managed to get destroyed by What's-His-Face over there by Heldolf. The Lord of Calamity. I get we found him, dude. I wonder if you can beat him before the end of the game and what that what that does. Quick save? What do you mean quick save? I didn't quick save anything. Weird. Yeah, I didn't quick save anything. Whatever. I don't know. Anyways, that'll be it for this stream. We did quite a bit, if I'm going to be honest with you. We did quite a bit. We beat the Wind Temple. We spent an hour and a half in the Wind Temple because I died in there. That was pretty great. That was very enjoyable. <laughs> we beat three more Mutant Hellions, and we got destroyed by Heldolf. But for right now, that'll be it. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Next time around, we're going to head over to the battlefield to see what's going on over there and to see if they're going to tell me that Heldolf is here in the I Freak hunting grounds and to go beat him up. Now that, I'm level, now that I'm level 30, I can definitely beat him up. He's level 78, but you know what? We got it. See you next time. Well, next stream. Bye.